here for my second Beauty Diaries video. Today we're going to talk about matte lipsticks. Now, I've said in my blog about a billion gazillion times I love matte lipsticks. They're always clean. They always look good. Um, there's not much you have to do with them after you put them on. So today I'm going to show you about five matte lipsticks that I'm going to be using this fall. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off with um, a plum kind of color. My favorite, favorite, favorite matte lipstick is called uh, Talk That Talk. It's Rihanna's. It's from Rihanna's line, um, the MAC line. However, uh, this is a limited edition lipstick, so I wanna show you guys some lipsticks that you can actually buy right now in the store. So I'll show you what this lipstick looks like on my hand. And I'm going to show you the lipstick that I use, which comes basically a very close second. So that lipstick is called um, Plum Fairy Matte, and it's by a brand called Colored Rain. comes in this pink bottle. And as you can see, it's the similar plum color, and I'll show you what it looks like on my hand. It's the one below, this one right here. It's a little darker but it's still kind of in the plum family. Um, so let me show you what it looks like on me. So this is the Plum Berry in matte. Um, as you can see, it's a very like dark plum color, great for fall, very dramatic, very pretty. I haven't even used any liner and it already looks perfect on my lips, which is part of what I love about matte lipsticks. It will last you all day and this is probably my number one favorite lip color for fall. The next color I'm going to show you guys is a nude. Uh, my favorite matte nude lipstick is called Velvet Teddy by MAC. Uh, come, looks like this in the tube. Sorry, there's a little brown on there for when I mix. And this is the swatch, how it looks like on my hand. So it's kind of like a pinky brown color, but it's matte. So let me show you how it looks on my lips. So as you can see, it's quite bright compared to my skin tone. Some people might be going for that look. For me personally, uh, I like to tone it down a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with um, some brown lip liner. Usually I use Chestnut Lip Liner um, by MAC, so let me go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I've toned down the color with the Chestnut Lip Liner, mixed it in so it's kind of more of a brown. Um, as opposed to that bright kind of pink, but I like that color because it's a good color to start out with and you can easily tone it down with any kind of lip liner. Next we have this fuchsia color from Kat Von D. It comes in this cute uh, little studded lipstick case. It's called Bow Wow 5, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, here's how it looks in the bottle. And here's how it looks on my hand. It kind of um, looks a little bit like Rebel from MAC. Here's Rebel at the bottom and Bow Wow 5 at the top. So as you can see, it looks kind of like a matte version of Rebel. So let me show you what it looks like on my lips. So this is how the color looks on my lips. Uh, I haven't added any liner or anything to clean it up. This is how it looks on my bare lips. If I were going out, I'd probably clean it up with a little bit of lip liner, maybe MAC Current or Night Moth. But it looks uh, pretty great by itself, as you can see, as matte, most matte lipsticks do. Um, so yeah, this is another one of my favorites that I'm going to be wearing a lot this fall. The next color I'm going to show you guys is more of a bright fuchsia color, brighter than the last one. Uh, it's called Flat Out Fabulous and it's a matte lipstick by MAC. It's a matte lipstick by MAC. <laughs> uh, let me show you what it looks like on my hand. So it's a lot brighter than the last one but it's still in that kind of fuchsia pink family. Uh, so let me show you what it looks like on my lips. So this lipstick is a lot brighter than the last. Something that I love to do is kind of create an ombre effect with lip liner. So usually with a lipstick like this during the fall, I might use like current lip liner by MAC to darken up um, around my lip line. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like. So I've toned down the color a little bit. I've made it a little bit more dramatic, a little darker. Um, I think it suits the fall weather a little better and I like it a little better because 
I don't like when my lipstick is too, too bright, but you know, it really depends on what you like. Um, so yeah, this is Flat Out Fabulous with Current Lip Liner. The last color I want to show you guys is this pinkish red color called All Fired Up by MAC. Here's how it looks like on my hand. As you can see, it's a pretty bright pink. Let me show you how it looks on my lips. This is also a very bright color on my skin tone. It's also another color that I would darken up with some lip liner. So I'm going to go ahead and use MAC Night Moth Lip Liner and um, darken this up. Here's how All Fired Up looks uh, darkened up. Um, this is how I usually wear if I were going out and wearing the lipstick. Even though it's matte, sometimes what I also will do is add gloss because even though it's a matte lipstick, uh, gloss on a matte lipstick helps the look last even longer than a normal glossy uh, lip would look. So uh, this is one of my favorites for the fall as well. I couldn't end this list without telling you guys about my favorite, all-time favorite red lipstick. Uh, if you don't know already, it is Ruby Woo, or as what I like to use, it's called Ruby Woo. They're practically the same color. I have it on already. No liner. Um, usually I will do a, like a night moth liner or a little darker liner on my lips, but it can be worn straight right out the bottle. This is what it looks like on my hand. So to quickly recap the lipsticks I went over today, I used, first of all, Plum Fairy Matte from Colored Rain. Uh, we had Velvet Teddy from MAC. We had Bow Wow 5 from Kat Von D. And we had All Fired Up and Flat Out Fabulous from MAC. And last but not least, Ruby Woo from MAC. So those are my favorite matte lipsticks for fall. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And have a great day.